Japanese horror fans, we're back with another review. This week we've got a look at the 2005 film from Toshiharu Ikeda, and it is The Man Behind the Scissors. The Man Behind the Scissors shocked me because I was expecting something very gory. I mean, with scissors being the weapon of choice, you'd think that they would come up with some creative ways to... Uh, terrify audiences with some gore. Plus, it comes from the director who directed the Evil Dead Trap series, and those are seen as almost snuff-like films in their violence and sexuality. But this is a much more subdued movie, and it actually plays out like a crime thriller. It involves a group of policemen and detectives that are trying to track down the Scissor Man, and he's this guy that's been killing a lot of Japanese schoolgirls and leaving scissors at the scene of the crime. But we already know who the Scissor Man is right from the beginning of the movie. We're introduced to him, and he's got this female assistant who's kind of helping him along. So, you know, if you already know who it is, then what's the draw to this movie? Well, the director threw in some plot twists and surprises for you, so actually it's pretty fun to watch, and I quite enjoy this one. The DVD of The Man Behind the Scissors comes to us from Tokyo Shock, and... Although the DVD is actually fairly bare bones, presentation-wise it looks pretty nice. But uh, yeah, it's good for them to take a chance on something that's not so gory, and this isn't really like a lot of the other Tokyo Shock stuff that gets put out, like Ichi the Killer or some of the other more violent films that um, typically the label's known for. So yeah, I thought it was a nice change of pace for them, and good job. The acting by the Scissor Man and his, his uh, female helper uh, were both done very, very well. They did uh, great performances by them, I thought. Uh, and that's good because this is such a character-driven piece. It relies so much on getting into the mind and the thoughts of the characters. Uh, really, the only complaint is the movie is kind of long. I think it shuffles in at over two hours, and some parts do drag a bit. And maybe I would have liked to have seen a little more violence, but I think that's just my expectations. But if you go into this expecting more of a crime thriller than a guts-on-the-floor horror, then I think you're going to find something that you'll quite enjoy. So if you're tired of DVDs with ghosts and demons and goblins and ghouls, then The Man Behind the Scissors might be something more for you if you're looking more for uh, something based in reality and something that's going to deal with humans and human emotions. And yeah, I quite enjoyed this film, and I think uh, you should give it a chance and see if it's worth putting in your collection. So thanks again for joining me on another review, and we will see you next time. <laughs> now I am the man behind the scissors. Now I am the man in front of the scissors. The man besides the scissors. <laughs> and so forth and so on. The man with the scissors. The man using the scissors. The man playing with the scissors. I'm the scissor man. Mm -hmm.